According to widely held belief, the contact between East and West was very light. This idea is going up in smoke. Incense smoke. As I was doing research for the strange fire video from last week, I found some very interesting facts about the ancient world. The Kapat in incense was widely used in the Levant and Egypt since times immemorial. I looked at the list of ingredients. Cassia, cinnamon, mastic, mint, henna, and mimosa. Just reading the list, most would think that Egyptians can just go to the local market and pick these items up. The items were at the local market, however, they originated in far off lands. Cassia is known as Chinese cinnamon. It is commonly grown in Southeast Asia. The buds were used as a spice in India and also in ancient Rome. The next uh, element is uh, cinnamon. Most of us eat, use cinnamon and, and uh, eat it in cinnamon rolls and things like that and never wonder where do it come from. Well, it is also from Southeast Asia. Mastic is Arab gum or Yemen gum. Mintha is mint. It comes from the Mediterranean region like we would expect. Henna is also locally grown in the Mediterranean re region. However, mimosa is native to Central and South America. Right, the name comes from the Greek word mimos, to mime or to act or to mimic. The leaves are said to mimic uh, conscious life. The shamanistic brew, arawaska, is made from its root bark. The DMT and the brew may have a link uh, to the the DMT in the brew may have have a link the ingredient to the fruit that Adam and Eve took. Check out my forbidden fruit video and also the fruit of knowledge video for more information on this subject. Um, some of the mummies in Egypt showed signs uh, that both cocaine and marijuana was used by these people. Right, there was also some silk found in an Egyptian tomb. And so this proves that the ancient world was crisscrossed with trade routes. Everyone was everywhere, just like today. Scientists have found Chinese cauldrons and coins in Mexico. Also, the Smithsonian has been accused of dumping ancient Egyptian artifacts found in the Grand Canyon of all places. A few years back, some skeletons were found in a cemetery in London that appeared to be East Asian. The report stated that the remains were Chinese. The skeletons were dated to between the second and third centuries. This is at least two centuries before the Huns in invaded, who were also East Asian. But just in time for the Sarmatians' war with uh, Rome. Don't be fooled, the Sarmatians were also East Asian with African mixture. Uh, some Sarmatians relocated in Britain after the Rome's, uh, after a war with Rome. What do all this has to do with martial arts? Well, goods freely traveled in all directions. Along with goods flows ideas. It is stated in the Bible that Thomas went east and started a very large church in India. The pa Politex Tapi Taka referred to a people called the, 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 the Meroe in Nubia. The, pa the Pali Text Titi Taka was a Buddhist document. The Blimye had a uh, lot to do with the formation of Buddhism. 
I would bet money on the idea that the Blimier brought some Nubian wrestling along with them. But uh, also the Chinese were practicing martial arts in, the, in distant antiquity. Before looking at this, let's take a look at the Blimye. The Blimye lived on both sides of the Nile. The Darius called them Libyan people. The Blimye were, were fictionalized as headless monsters. These creatures were said to both live in Asia and Africa. Just like the real ones, I believe that all the people uh, will move in the same way under the same circumstances. With this being said, who invented martial arts? I think that it started in multiple areas. It's all just fighting. The standardization and departmentalization of fighting arts is a method of control. We limit ourselves by saying, hey, I'm a Taekwondo guy, so I don't wrestle. It's all fighting. Everybody was supposed to be able to do everything. They name you so they can own you. Remember that. I name them, I keep them. Away to the moon. Don't concentrate on the finger or you will miss all that heavenly glory. Damn, Rod, come on! What's the matter with you? Tomorrow. Let's do it tomorrow. There is no tomorrow! Must not lose the fear!